a fun one for you today, folks. Let's talk about a COVID coach. I'm going to jump in my Jeep. Let's head over to the shop. Our shop is separated from our sales lot. Uh, let's get over to the shop. I think you're going to find this video to be interesting. Hopefully it's informative. Stay tuned to the end where we talk about our service department, the way we operate, kind of the way we do business. I think you're going to like the way we operate. It's important who you buy from, folks. Watch this video to the end. Stick in there. Stay with me. Let's go. We're a used dealer, folks, and now we're starting to see COVID issues. So if you're interested in a coach, and you've been reading all the stuff about COVID issues. It's really not that bad on this coach, but this is as bad as we've seen. Let's dig into this one. This is a coach that we already sold. Customers coming to pick it up. They've already came and stayed a night with it. Had a couple little issues that we actually missed during our inspection. We fixed a whole lot of other stuff on this coach. This is one of the newest and lowest mileage coaches we've ever had. I don't think anybody ever actually used it. Tell me what you think, folks, in the comments below. Let me know what you think. May have seen the video that I did on this one, 22 model. I titled it, or I had I had it titled, I think the most expensive Tiffin Allegro Red we've ever seen. It had a ton of options. Folks, this is a 2022 Tiffin Allegro Red 37BA. And yes, we had a handful of issues that you wouldn't normally see with a coach this new. So I'm gonna label this as a COVID coach, a rush to build. Tiffin, I love you. I, 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 you know, I think the world of you. Thumbs down on this one. Major aqua hot problems that we fixed. This, this aqua hot system obviously never worked from the factory. So thumbs down to Tiffin. Thumbs down to the dealer who prepped this. Um, I'm not going to highlight that dealer, but, you know, the ter terrible job getting this through inspection. There's no way that somebody re with reasonable common sense could have inspected this coach done a pre-delivery inspection and passed it. And I feel bad for the customer because they probably traded this in or sold it because of the issues that it had. The aqua hot never worked. I've had toilet problems that never worked from the beginning. Uh, let's dig into it and show you the issue we're having at this moment. I'm trying to disparage Tiffin, talk bad about anything that they do folks that's not what this video is about it's videos to really to give you awareness on the way we operate when you buy a coach from us we're taking all of the risk out of it for you we're going to soak up any and any issues that the coach could have we're going to find those issues to the best of our ability and fix them so all this that i'm getting ready to show you is not to disparage tiffin the other dealer who sold it or try to bring light against the RV market. We love the used RV market, but we're just now as a used dealer starting to see two or three year old COVID coaches now. So this is a 2022, again, only 6,000 miles. I'm pretty disappointed in the coach in general of the way, it, how could it possibly have left Tiffin uh, quality control is beyond me. I don't understand just for a couple of things, but um, let's dig into it. When they went to these slide switches, and if you have one, you know this is a terrible design. It is a janky remote system that operates the hydraulic slide, and they have connectivity issues. Good thing is they did put it on the, the, the slide control on the spider panel, so very intermittent issues with this. I think we got it straightened out, but I think that's just going to be a continuing problem with all of the, you know, coaches 22 models that have these this is just a remote operated by a uh remote you know like a, a battery that you put in your car remote i loved it when they had them on the side of the seats and it was a rocker switch that much better design very very reliable now as you can see we have the ceiling panel down here now the issue on the ceiling panel was a simple rope light that was half of it was working half of it was not happened to be a staple that was used to install the ceiling uh, was punctured through the light. That in itself is not that big of a deal. You can see that in any coach, but how it got past half of this rope light was not even on. How it got past quality control at Tiffin is beyond me because that was obviously a factory 
mistake. This is kind of what we're starting to see. I hope it's not an indication of things to come um, with Tiffin or other manufacturers. Uh, but if it is, we're prepared and ready to deal with it, folks. Again, if you buy a coach from us, we're going to take it through three inspections to make sure that we find any issues that are poss that could be possibly found. Now, one of the little lighting issues we actually missed ourselves. So, I mean, I understand the Aqua Hot, you know, that is a, there's no excuse for that at all. Among other simple issues that could have been resolved by the selling dealer. What you're thinking, I know to Aqua Hot 250D. Yes, it has the Aqua Hot 250D. This should be the Generation 2 system, which is a lot less problems than of the previous Aqua Hot 250D. But the issues that this system had, had to do with wrong poor installation and the fact that the system never worked from the beginning it's not possible for it to have worked probably spent six or eight hours just diagnosing and essentially rebuilding the aqua hot system internally they had some issue a couple little issues but the way it was installed i'm not going to dig into exactly what it was we fixed it it's all good this customer is going to be happy the coach itself is super clean super nice heated floors all the stuff but i just wanted to highlight this you know, this is what we're starting to see. Lack of aqua hot heat um, from, from the beginning could have led to some of the other problems that the coach had. And maybe the reason why it was traded in, sold at 6,000 miles being only a year, couple, two, three years old. So that's something to think about, folks. Again, pay attention to who you're buying from. It's very important that you check the dealer you're buying from. You're buying one of these coaches from an individual or dealer. Uh, if you don't trust the source, make sure you get an inspection. That's very important because this buyer who bought this could have done a simple inspection and probably had a better experience and maybe they'd still be, they'd still own this coach and maybe enjoying it. So I did know there was problems with the coach before I bought it. There was a few I noted, it, noted in the video. There was some cosmetic problems. Also, there was some mechanical issues. Yes, we did fix those issues before we ever offered the coach for sale. So... And please stop what you're doing. If you like this video, if you like what we're doing, hit the like button. I can't say that enough. Hit subscribe too. Subscribe, hit the bell notification. But most importantly, please hit that thumbs up. Helps us a ton. Helps get the, the video in front of other people who may be dealing with some of the same issues. Bet you see this lift and I bet you want to see this roof. Let's check it out. Let's go up here and let's check out this roof. Look at that beautiful roof there. That roof has been completely treated by us. We do a ZEP floor polish treatment. So the first thing we do is we get up here, uh, power wash, wipe it down with towels and, and degreaser if needed, get all the silicone, all the sealant, everything wiped clean. And then we treat it with a ZEP floor polish. And that's gonna have your roof good for about a year uh, before you need to do anything, we check all of your slide toppers. This coach actually needed a slide topper put on it. Again, due to proper installation from the factory. Uh, but yeah, the roof, look how clean that roof is, nice and shiny. And this roof was done uh, two or three weeks ago. It still looks beautiful. Yes, it's rained outside. We've had it outside a little bit. It's rained, but nice, clean, shiny roof is what you want to see. You have a Tiffin. You're watching any of these videos. You have a Tiffin like what you're seeing in this video or other videos that I've done. I want to put a number on your tip. You're looking to sell your coach. We do consignments on a case-by-case -case basis. I never like to do consignments, and I never have want, want to have more than one or two consignment coaches in stock. Uh, I just don't have time to answer all the phone calls and, and things like that. Consignments are definitely a little bit more of a headache for a dealer. I'd much rather just purchase the coach, but in some cases... We may have deals working for other customers on coaches we just sold, and we may have a buyer for you. So give us a call. Jump on our website down below here at soulmotorcoach.com, S-E-W-E-L-L, motorcoach.com. Shoot us an email with the coach you have. We'd love to put an offer on your coach for sure. But keep in mind, we're not out to take advantage or buy, buy them super cheap or try to steal them. We're just going to put wholesale bids on them. Typically, I'm the strongest wholesale bid in the country on a coach like what you're looking at. One of my favorite Tiffins year model. This is a 2015 Tiffin Allegro Red with the 340 Cummins. This is a pretty sure a 35 QBA. It's a customer we sold a couple of years ago. He's back for annual service, uh, engine oil, uh, checking the, you know, doing a roof inspection, roof treatment. That's that roof I showed you from, from up high. Absolutely stunning coach. If you got a coach like this, 
I'm your guy. I absolutely love these older Allegro Reds. We're just finishing up the service on this one. Uh, this coach is in absolutely stunning condition. The, the, the folks we sold it to have kept it in amazing condition, serviced it just the way they should have. So really proud of this one. Happy to have it back in our service department. One more reason to buy from us is the fact that we have a dedicated service department to you, the customer. We don't really accept outside service from folks who didn't buy a coach from us. But if you bought one from me, my service department is dedicated to you. We're going to stop what we're doing. If you're having an emergency issue, bring the coach to us. We're going to fix it. We're not going to make you wait a month or two months, maybe a few days. We say bring it on next Tuesday or whatever. We're going to, we're going to pretty much get you right in. Get your problem resolved. We do annual service for our customers. So you have a dedicated service department, same service department that gets the coaches ready for you. We have dedicated service department for you, our customers. Key and the moral to the story is, folks, that the coach is fine now. The coach is going to be great. The next owner is going to absolutely love it. And that's where we come into play. Um, you're always going to get a great coach from us. You're we're going to, again, we're going to take out all the risk out of a deal for you. You can rest assured that we're going to buy a coach like this. We're going to get everything right. And we're going to do all the inspections like I talk about. We do three inspections on every coach to make sure that we get you a good quality product. And if you come stay in the coach and you find any little things, we're going to take care of that too. Again, thank you for sticking in there to the end of this video. I know it was a short one. I wanted to highlight um, this coach and maybe some COVID issues. Again, this is my first. We're already three, four years past COVID, but this is the first coach that I'm seeing with what I would consider to be COVID problems, um, in, in my opinion. So hopefully Tiffin, if anybody at Tiffin's watching this video, hope you all do better. Hope you can correct this. Hope this is only a two or three year span. It's not going to slow us down, folks. It's not going to stop me from buying Tiffin. I'm still going to go heavy on buying Tiffin. You know how it is. Legro Red, Legro Bust, Phaeton, love those. If you buy it from me, folks, I'm going to guarantee you we're going to take out all the risks of you buying a COVID coach. So don't let it bother you. It's not less of a coach. It just means that there could be some issues as me as the selling dealer is going to have to take care of and fix before we get it to you. Have a wonderful and blessed day. Remember to check out the website, soulmotorcoach.com.